You're not sure if you're in a pub, a restaurant, or an immersive experience. It's all of that and more. I'm the NYC Traveler, and we're at the Cauldron in New York. No matter what type of travel you're doing, there is one thing you will always do. I'm the NYC Traveler, and it's time to eat. Welcome to Stone Street, a little alley near the Financial District in Lower Manhattan that's full of food and beverages and experiences. We're at the Cauldron, where we had a wizard afternoon tea. Reservations are definitely needed. It's a timed experience with a mythical wizard theme. If you arrive early and you bought a drink with your experience, you can start downstairs at the bar. There are concoctions with and without alcohol. When it's time, head upstairs to your table to start your mythical, wondrous afternoon tea. Along the way to your table, you can take in every detail. They wasted no space in making sure that you had a wizardly experience. Full disclosure, make sure you're on time because as we said, it is a timed experience. We do have a tardy party, but let's get started with Papa. Alright? Um, anyone been here before? Yes, welcome back. First timers? Yes, love it. Some tea making. I'm going to hand out a wand per party. In exchange, I do need something of equivalent value. A plastic money card, so to speak. This is uh, quite a magical place and these things tend to disappear. <laughs> I'll be doing a trade, I'll come along with these tables. Since it could be quite pricey per person. To conduct your experiments. Okay. If you guys do figure out how to open up the box before, uh, before you learn the instructions, extra points. There will be a secret code to open up the magic box. Sandwiches per person on that QR code you find before you on your table. Oh, okay. And I'll be coming around to take those orders. Okay. See before you. Each tower, if you spin them around, has a sigil, a little symbol. Each one doing a different thing with the tower. It may take a couple of tries, but open up the magic box and get your teas so you can start brewing your potions. The recipes for the teas are on the menu, either there in front of you or on the website, which you can get by scanning the QR code. Let the tea brew depending on the type of tea that you chose and the recipe. I want you guys to go ahead on your QR code, go all the way to the top and we'll say let the brew begin. I'll give you instructions on uh, how to conduct your experiments today. Summoning spell. Summoning spell is uh, in case you need anything from me. My summoning spell is a nice and loud caca. It's the sound of a thousand birds. Yes, as silly as it is. As an example, I will love everyone. And my guess, you got the right idea. On the count of three, I would love everyone. After the loudest to caca. Let's show this group that we are the better ones. All right, on the count of three, ladies. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> on the carousel are other ingredients to add to your concoctions. So make sure you either follow the recipe or you can make up your own. Make sure you check out all the other tricks that you can do with your wand. Fair warning, bring your appetites. The portions are very generous. The second experiment to be done, it does include your clear glass. 
Your wizarding skills will be put to the test once again with a second experiment. So it's feel, and then you guys can go about your ways. Right. Congratulations for both passes. After your tea time experience is over, explore the rest of the restaurant, which you can come back at another time and enjoy regular dining. So, will we be back again? You betcha. I'm the NYC Traveler and we've been at the Cauldron in New York.